change to go vegan uh, and you're struggling, you don't know how you can do it or where to start, well first look at your ingredients, the stuff you go shopping with and in my opinion probably one of the real common meat products that everybody buys if you're doing cooking at home is beef mints. So that's a really good place to start and I'm going to give you a, a substitute for that that's going to be you know, a nice safe option to replace with without causing you too many problems. So, we're going to start with canned lentils. So that's going to feature pretty heavily. Uh, I use them a lot, um, nice and easy. Just some canned lentils. And there's a secret because probably the least sexy ingredient on planet Earth here are canned, <laughs> canned brown lentils. And I'm going to show you the trick. It's hardly a trick, but I notice people don't really do this so much. It's convenient enough it is, as it is, so we're going to take the time. We're going to take the time to really rinse them. That's it. You just got to rinse the heck out of them. Because the, the, juices, the juices that were in the, um, in the can taste like real bad, real bad. But lentils are real good and I've fallen in love with just legumes in general and um, yeah we really really want to rinse these and um, you stay there I'm just gonna turn the frying pan on, turn the gas on. Yeah so gonna keep going see all those bubbles doesn't matter anyway it's hardly a technique but it's just a tip okay. right that's pretty well rinsed there's no frothy stuff okay so rinse the heck out of it okay that's all we're gonna be using rice bran oil and um, what was I going to say? So why are we using rice bran oil? First off, this is not necessarily a health show. So there are loads of arguments out there about the oil, right? But the reason we're using the rice bran oil, uh, you know, transitioning to a vegan diet, this is really important because we've got to just be gentle with ourselves, right? The rice bran oil, it reduces... Okay, I'm not a fucking doctor, right? So it reduces the amount of sugar in the blood after a meal. So we've got to look out for things, we've got to look out for our, when we're going to vegan, we've got to look out for, you know, our pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, we've got to look out for all that stuff because that kind of diet is sort of where we were all heading, right? And we've got to just keep an eye on those things because also removing the meat, arguably we're removing some of that high protein content or we're increasing some of the carbohydrates. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Um, not really health advice because we're just trying to make it taste nice while putting a little bit of effort into you know what the ingredients are to just try and look after ourselves a bit that's all and also cheap mints that you normally buy on that omnivore diet or whatever it is and it is really really fatty so we've got to make up because in the cooking world uh, you know the fat is flavor right it's it's yum uh, it's what makes things taste nice so we're gonna go you know we're going to make this delicious, so it encourages us to go vegan. So I'm going to show you how much we're actually going to put. It's going to be a lot. I'm getting the measuring thing. I normally just do it by eye, but we're doing a lot. So this is going to be a substitute beef mince. About half a cup or 125 mils. It's a lot. And we'll turn this gas up. Yeah, there's not much to this. It's hardly, I don't know if it's really a cooking show, it's like a preparation show. But, um, let me talk about the ingredients too while the pan's heating up. So this one's going to be really important. I can hold it up to the camera if that's easier. Um, carom seeds. Okay, so this is really, really important. We're going to be using this a lot. First off, it's got a kind of different flavor, one we're not used to. So you want to try and find these. Um, and yeah, so what was I going to say about carom seeds is they're really good for your digestion. It's a, they're known as a sort of digestive aid. So we're going to really need this. So all you vegans out there that went vegan overnight and didn't 
pay attention to that, well, I'm not going in the toilet after you. I'm going to say that. So, we're going to use some carom seeds also for an interesting flavour. So, it's not going to taste exactly like beef mince. We're not trying to mimic it. We're just trying to get something to replace it that's also delicious. And we're also going to be putting in dill tips. Now, dill tips are... What are these good for? This is good for, you know, all that diabetes sort of stuff. Insulin, insulin resistance. This is good for, you know, appropriate insulin things. I don't really know exactly, but it's good for that. And it's really tasty, but this is going to be a really important herb for this transitioning from vegan, uh, from meat eating to a vegan diet. Um, this is really going to help, and it's going to help with the flavor. So now we're quite hot over here. We're going to put the oil in. Really hot. Okay, so we're going to start with... What are we going to do? Hopefully that's draining nicely. You don't want too much water going into hot oil, okay? <laughs> Not too much. A little bit's alright. Or you don't want the oil super hot and then you put some like water into the oil like that's really bad. So we're gonna put a couple of pinches. So we've got two can so it's a pinch per can of lentils, right? One, two. Okay, now they're sizzling up and they smell good. We're going in. Okay. Boom. All right. So we want this to taste good too. So we're putting in tomato paste. We're gonna put in. I'll show you how much. Not much. Just about that. It's about a heaped teaspoon. Okay. I'm gonna stir that in. All right. We're going to put, I've got mild chili powder, you can use paprika, but I recommend if you've got mild chili powder, use that. We're just going to put, this is what I'm calling about a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? A fat pinch. I'm going to put that in. We're going to stir that in. Okay, turn it back up a bit actually. This is all we're doing. And, okay, tomato paste is starting to mix in. Not a big deal, really. And we're going to put the onion, onion powder. And we're going to put about that much in. I'm calling that about half a teaspoon, right? I'm, I call this a teaspoon. And a whole teaspoon is like a heaped one of these, so that's about half a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to add that. The cool thing about the canned lentils is they're really well cooked, so there's more chance of them digesting well for you. So I recommend canned lentils for a start. We'll, we'll look at doing them properly one day. Okay, that's all right. What else we got? We got this. Okay, the dill tips. We want to put about that much, I'd say about that much, okay? We'll make it one whole one. There. That's one teaspoon, dill tips. You can play around with that anyway. And... We've we'll that in the end, we're turning the heat off. We're pretty much done now, guys. That's it. That's it for this video. This is just your mince. I mean, this is to replace your mince. Now we want to put... I'll show you. I go pretty crazy with the salt. One, two, three, four good pinches, okay? Four good pinches. And that's it. We are done. So this is something you can make in advance, let it cool down, put it in the fridge, and then you can just
just go whatever you want to do, man. You want to put it, um, you want to put it in like your pasta sauce, you want to put it on your nachos, you want to put it on top of rice, just whatever you do with your mince, you're just replacing that ingredient. And you just add that at the very end of the cooking because it's already really well cooked. You risk turning it to mush, so you just stir it in at the very end and you're ready to serve. That's all you got to do. Let that cool down and you can just keep it in the fridge, whatever. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Have a look at that. It's not much to look at, but it's just the replacement of mince. Plain cooked mince isn't much to look at either, but it's meeting it, okay? And it's going to be good for your stomach. You're going to be able to handle it, so the idea is that it's not going to disrupt your system so much and you're going to remove be able to remove that mince safely and in a tasty way so you can live more according to natural law namely the principle of correspondence which is if we are killing lesser beings and using them for consuming them for energy we become lesser beings for a, a higher being that gets to kill or consume us for energy too. So one little step for a big effect globally, universally. Okay, so I don't care if you like my videos. I don't care if you subscribe. I'm a bit of a weirdo. Just come and beat the meat with me next time.